So um, what are your expectations of your students for, the, for this project? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because, um, as I said before, this is a project that's supposed to be ongoing uh, year upon year. And uh, the underlying idea is that if you um, give the students the best designs from the previous year, that they will be able to incorporate the best features of those previous designs while eliminating all of the all the negative features of those previous designs in order to to build better performing winches in the new project than you know in the previous year and so um, the benchmark that they have is last year the fastest cart had an average velocity of 1.6 meters per second and this year that's the number they were using if they could get their cart to finish the race in better than 1.6 meters per second average velocity they knew that they had a winner because they'd improved upon last year's design so what I'm expecting is 1.6 meters per second to be essentially the, the bottom of, of the performance and I, I think we're going to see a lot of really fast races uh, because the students incorporated everything they learned from the old designs in this year's design. So tell me a little bit about your design. Like. Well, we kind of based our design off, uh, mo let's see, how do I put this? We didn't directly copy, but we based a lot of our design off of last year's uh, fastest car, not the winner, mm -hmm. but what was going to be the fastest if it wasn't knocked over. Okay, so what's, like, what sort of components did you use for that? So we used three wheels and we used a triangular base uh, similar, similar to the one that the fastest car last year had. However, we tweaked it a little so that it's first off smaller that, uh, and closer to the ground. That way if it is hit, there's less of a chance of it tipping over because the fastest design last year had large wheels and it kept it off the ground very high. So that's that was part of our design. Awesome. Okay. So um, tell me how you guys use designs from last year to um, come up with your project here. The main design from last year that we used was the three-wheel design with a rotating front wheel. That helps keep the cart straight no matter what happens. Uh, well, we used the uh, kind of upgraded uh, axle there where it gets bigger as it goes through, um, as well as the three-cart design with the arm to steer it, and uh, basically just tried to improve on that model by making it a whole lot lighter and going with a little bit bigger gear ratio. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, it's like what you get when you put a bunch of smart people together. Two, one, I wonder if this goes go. on the championship. Correct. And then tell me how um, how you use the last year's designs from the cars that you looked at to create your design for this year. Actually, that, that was a big advantage whenever we started uh, building the car because we could go in the actual lab and check out last year's cars, uh, get some ideas, which, which we actually did. The way that we attached the, the motor on our winch was, a, was an idea that we got from uh, last year's group. Uh, and I, hopefully next year the, this class will see our cars and try to make something even better and this project will continue going on and on. Awesome. Would you say that you like this class, having an interactive class, better than you like having like just a general like test and paper and pencil and just in-classroom instruction? There were, there were pros and cons to it. Uh, you know, obviously we got to build something that, you know, we could kind of, you know, look back and say, wow, we were able to, you know, do better than the team from last year. You know, we were able to better their time. So obviously we liked the progress, but there were some things that, you know, kind of stressed us out, some of the homework leading up to it. But, you know, it was pros and cons. How did the uh, designs from last year that you looked at, how did that influence your design for this year? We, we took uh, CDs for the wheels as... Uh off last year's winning uh, cards. So that was probably the biggest influence we had from last year's cards. We also wanted to incorporate a pivoting wheel uh, that, that kind of goes towards the, uh, the, the winch because if it gets off course, it just goes straight to the winch. Three, two, one, I'm trying to figure it go. out. Ha, ha, ha.
Uh, can someone hit the switch? That's it. That's it, yeah. That's it right? So who just won? No, we, we only have one I don't think this line's a race. I don't I know, know about that. Saying, like, no, we're doing double We're in. Okay, so here's the question. Have Theta and Lambda ever raced before? Yes, they did. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm it's saying. over. This is done. Yeah. Lambda! Yeah. Let's go, baby! So do you like this better, having like this kind of final as opposed to like pencil and paper chess? Oh, <laughs> is that a joke question? No, I, I want a serious answer. Do you like it better than... Okay, I'm an engineer, so I've got to say yes. This is incredibly... F this was f so much fun. Yeah, writing equations stuff are fun too, but actually seeing all your equations put into effect really... Really, is more exciting to see. Well, for the final, I thought it was good. I mean, we got to work with the group, and that was good. And I mean, when we are in the workforce, that's how it's going to be working with groups. And so it's good that we got to learn that early. And then it was better than taking the final exam, that's for sure. We got to come out here and have some fun. I mean, obviously, it was a lot, lot of hard work and a lot of time put in, but I mean, it's all, all worth it right now. So.